the ceremony just now is a type of mindfulness of death. We think about the person who's passed away and realize that all beings have passed away, will pass away, are passing away. We too will pass away. We have no doubt about that. The question is, what are we going to do about that? We try to keep our health, we try to keep our life, and we can fight things off for a while. But there comes a point where we can't. And so we have to be prepared to go. And so the Buddha has this practice mindfulness of death for two reasons. One is realizing that when we go, we will be going along with our craving. And do we have any control over our craving right now? What would direct your craving in a bad direction right now? Well, you've got to take care of that. Because that's the other point we think about. Death can happen at any time. As John Fuhrman once said, once you're born, you enter the line. But it's not the case that the last person who entered the line will be the last person to go. Sometimes some people get ahead. Their, num their number is called before the numbers that were before them. So there's work to be done, but we don't know how much time there's, there's to do it. But we do know that we have right now. And that's why we practice mindfulness of death. We do what we can to clean up our minds. And then we think of the people who have gone before. We dedicate the merit of what we're doing to them in hopes that they will approve of that, what we're doing, and that becomes their merit. But at the same time, we have to realize okay, this is our opportunity right now to do something good. The fact that we have this breath, the fact that we have this life, what is it for? Nobody tells you what it has to be for, but you can decide that you're going to make it for something really good, something that will lead to your long-term welfare and happiness. Because that is, as the Buddha said, it's the beginning of discernment. So you look at what you've got. You've got your body, you've got this mind. You can train the mind by focusing on the body right now. Train the mind in qualities of heedfulness, ardency, resolution. The virtues of the mind that are needed in order to fight off all the defilements, all the hindrances that will take our craving, lead it in a weird direction. Because we can exert control over the mind. The fact that things rise in the mind, that comes from past karma. But what we do with them, that's our present karma. And that's something we have control over, something we have the power to change. So as the Buddha said, mindfulness of death leads to the deathless. And this is how it happens. It motivates you to train your mind. And when the mind is trained, then it can lead to true happiness. So in this way, even though the fact that someone has passed away, or many people have passed away, that may not be auspicious, but the fact that we take that fact and we use it to develop heedfulness, ardency, and resolution, that is auspicious. It's up to us to make this day an auspicious day. It doesn't depend on the stars, doesn't depend on the weather. It depends on our determination to make the most of the opportunities we have right now to do good. So always keep that fact in mind.